Heather Dinich joining the program. Heather, you are going to be so busy from Grapevine where the assembled committee is meeting. Our uh, selection show is at noon. So how will they assess number seven Texas winning their conference, number eight Alabama losing to that Texas team, but winning the SEC? What's that conversation going to be like? Gary, I think it's going to be a similar conversation to what it's been all season to this point, and that head-to-head -head win in Tuscaloosa in week two will continue to be a huge part of the discussion. It has given Texas an edge over Alabama every week to this point, and Selection Committee Chair Boo Corrigan said earlier this week that it doesn't matter when it happened, it means as much today as it did then. The thing about these two teams is that both of them now have two of the best wins in the country. Alabama knocked off the committee's number one team. And of course, now Texas can claim something not even Georgia can, and that's a win against the SEC champs. Here's the thing about the college football playoff in its 10 years of existence. There has never been an SEC team not represented in the final four. Interesting note, Florida State finishes unbeaten. They're down to their true freshman third string quarterback through for 55 yards in the title game. What's the possibility, Heather, that the Seminoles could be left out entirely of this final four? It's certainly possible. This is a four team playoff for five power five conference champs. Someone is getting left out. If it were to be Florida State, it would be unprecedented. No undefeated Power Five Conference champion has ever been left out. This is at the crux of the entire debate because Florida State has done everything it has been asked to do, including three wins against CFP top 25 teams. That includes wins against LSU and Clemson and now a ranked Louisville team. It played championship caliber defense. The question is, did they look like a team capable of winning a national title with their third string quarterback? Now, the selection committee has a caveat in its protocol that I'm sure it will refer to and talk about, which is the unavailability of key players that could impact postseason games. They know that Tate Rodemaker is expected to be 100% for by the time they play whatever postseason game they are in. How does that change the conversation around the table? Florida State could absolutely stay number four, and yes, they could absolutely fall out. Gosh, that language is so important uh, as we look at the scenario now. Rankings Reveal Show is at noon on ESPN. Florida State head coach Mike Norvell joining us live on this edition of Sports Center in about 30 minutes. Heather Dinich joining us live from Grapevine, Texas this morning. Heather, thanks.